So back on the level then with these stayers this time, it's a two and a half mile race for four year olds and upwards and the top one is Nubo for Darren Thompson, Arthur's Pass, Craig Allen, Marley Bull, Joshua Sutherland, one more time, Leon Van Rinsburg, Tornidos, Martin Lidham, Mr Yates, Paul Rhodes, Monthly Cred, Alex Cherry, Himaya for David Robertson, 10 years of sleep, Kevin Meenhan, Tigava, Graham Clutterbuck and Kuiping East, Vinnie Gerrard. So smallish field for this one then. Uh, they're in the stalls, they've got a long way to go. And away they go with a grey Himaya, just about the first one to show as they sort themselves out and get themselves into a favoured racing position. They have got an awful long way to go. And the Ascot Gold Cup over this trip is really the only big race over this sort of distance, isn't it? I suppose you've got the Prix de Cadran in France as well. But with these ones, they tend these two and a half mile horses to either be group ones or in those low grade handicaps in the league. So we've probably got a mixture of the two here. I'll definitely tell you that mine will be a low grade handicapper if it gets in. Let's <laughs> see Garver in the lead then by about four to Mr. Yates in second. Himaya is back in third and then a gap back to the rest of them. Put a few greys in this three altogether. I've seen that many greys in the earlier races, but it's Tigava in the lead. And clear by about four lengths to Mr. Yates in second and Himaya, who's close up with that one in third. A gap of about three or four again then to the rest of them are just about headed by Tornidos. Then Nubo and Ten Years Asleep. One more time and monthly cred as they pass the stand. And pass the winning post shortly. And we get a view from the top of the stands and a look across the majestic track at Ascot forward to the new season which is going to start in a couple of months there's still plenty of time to get sorted out if you're watching this wondering what's going on just go to the strategic designs forums and look up the online league thread and you'll find everything you need to know in there about how to get involved there's still plenty of time and plenty of opportunities once the league starts and these races today are trial races they're all run on level weights so they're pretty much almost like group races and don't be surprised if you see the same sort of names dominating the races that doesn't necessarily mean that you're not going to do any good in the league because you can be running into handicaps where the big guns tend to be elsewhere so that's a little bit for everybody uh, there'll be at least one more trials day probably probably two i would think so you've got plenty of time get your game fired up make sure you're playing in league mode uh, and if you need any help there's plenty of people who are more than willing to give you a helping hand uh, Tigava is the leader Mr Yates is second Himaya is back in third and then Nubo in fourth There's one more time after that one then Tornidos and ten years of sleep monthly credit and Marley Ball and Kuiping East and Arthur's Pass after that one as they race past the trees and a little bit more than a mile to go now and Tigava in the lead Grand Clutterbuck likes these long distance races El Presidente, that's probably why we've got so many of them in the, in the league. I'm only really joking, great. Uh, Tigava's in the lead, then Mr. Yates is second, then Himaya is third, Nubo is fourth, and one more time after that, Marley Ball, Arthur's Pass and Ten Years Asleep, and Kuiping East, Tornidos towards the back, and Monthly Cred just about the back marker. And Tigava then, been in the lead pretty much all the way. Still a length clear of Mr. Yates in second. Himaya in third. And they get back to one more time. Marley Ball. I'm surprised John Morgan's not got one in this. He's normally good in these long distance races. He's keeping them under wraps. But it's Tigava in front. Mr. Yates looming on its outside. Himaya just hit a bit of a flat spot back in third. Then Arthur's pass. Nubo is now being driven along to try and come through with their challenge as they begin the sweep towards home then and Tigava is still in the lead from Mr Yates, Nubo, the jockey's going to try and push that in a gap between the two as he's run right into a dead end oh, Darren Thompson will be screaming at that jockey because now one more time has boxed him in as well but it's Mr Yates who's gone on from Tigava in second, one more time is third Nubo's going to get going again and Kai Pingit and Arthur pass, Marley Bull's beginning to drop away, Himaya's gone as well Tawny 
Milos and Monty Cred and Tenny is asleep. Haven't really got into it. But it's Mr. Yates who's kicked on then now. Mr. Yates has gone three clear of one more time in second. Then Kuiping East and Nubo. But this is Mr. Yates who's clear. One more time is now getting into overdrive and beginning to close there. Well inside the final furlong. And it's Mr. Yates in front. Jockey has a look around. He needs the post, I think. It's Mr. Yates in front. One more time. He's not going to get close enough. And Mr. Yates is going to take it. Mr. Yates takes the two and a half miler from one more time in second. Kuiping East was third. Then half has passed. Nubo was unlucky in running. I think monthly cred might well have been the last one to finish. But it's another one for Paul Rhodes. Mr. Yates takes it. Get a full list. It's Mr. Yates, the winner for Paul Rhodes. Second was one more time for Leon van Rinsburg. Kuiping East for Vinnie Gerrard was third. Arthur's pass for Craig Allen was fourth. And Marley Bull for Joshua Sutherland was fifth.